Ten cuidado, bro. Pera aí atrás de ti. Não vou arriscar. Ai, é mano. Estou morto. Olha para matar um... Uh! I'm alive, dude! Não sei como, mas estou. I'm out. Get ready to see some of the slipperiest snakes you haven't laid your eyes upon, because today's episode is all about escapes. Hit the like if you enjoy, subscribe for some more good stuff daily, and let's hop right back in with an ankle breaking juke. Actually, if we just fight top lane, I think we win it. We can all get there. We kite so long. Wait, what the? What? We just cut them off here, no? They won pans up. Looks like Red Team really wants Renekton dead, and it's no wonder. Take a look behind them at their own inhib. Silas is wreaking some havoc in the main base, and the wave is still alive. But now that I think about it, couldn't Silas have Bao special the blue team's Nexus? Well, doesn't matter now, Rex's Soros is throwing down a hyper-aggressive TP on the bot inhib. I think it's because she spotted Red Team's jungler by Baron, but turns out all of them are nearby waiting, so let's see how she slips out of this one. Check out this unlucky rubber ducky timing. Boom, hook hits and Vayne is gone. Our Shaco support is rocking exhaust ignite as well, so there's no flash available, but he's still got several cards up his sleeve.
Check the build, the enemy team has a ton of AP so Vayne's opted for Wits End and Stoneplate after Shield though. She's got a lot more survivability than her health bar leads to believe, and all the while take a look at the enemy base. Everybody wants a piece of Zack, but no one can seem to finish him off. Watch Talia, she must have taken a tight turn because this tower still manages to smack her for a third time in a row, and then this homie turret goes full sniper mode. Next up, looks like blue team's 131 strat has fallen apart real quick. Oriana's dead in the bot lane, Yasuo's getting juggled around, but a fantastic flash into the fog cancels the dunk and buys Yasuo a few more seconds for his flow shield. Now the enemy team has to decide between him or Irelia, and in the moments of their hesitation, Irelia manages to get some damage done. The Unseen Portal is the deadliest. Seriously though, I don't know if this was intentional, but this pink in the bush is perfect. And from the look of the missing things, everybody's confused. Speed Hacks is true to his name, cause watch this use and abuse of Phase Rush. And yeah, today I learned Bran only really needs two abilities to proc phase rush. Makes sense. Next up, it's Jolly Ride, and he's creeping up a bit behind Sion to get some harass as Shivana shows up. Thanks to the info from this ward, she ends up looping around downwards just in time to give her the slip, and the rest is just good pathing.
It just occurred to me that Zoe has a natural Nimbus cloak. Anytime she uses her own summoner, it gives her a speed boost, and in this case, 30% for her rank 1W. It might not look like much, but her Ignite also procs Aerie, which procs Ludens, and gives her an extra 15% on top. He does the dragon, yeah. but Bean J and Taki lying in wait. They want to oh, get the Ming. pick on Ming. In a 1v2 anchor. Nice sidestep, but maybe enough. Oh, he sides up the charm as well. Beautiful. But the damage, it will no be way. there. Wow, he survives. Ignite is on. He will survive on the Lee Sin. An ally has been seen. Soraka's passive isn't her only option for speed. Even though Sugun is support, she's actually opted for the Q max, which means every star call is giving her a 30% speed boost and it's even more spammable with 61 ability haste. It's Thresh versus Team Yordle, and if it weren't for their stubby little legs and tiny hitboxes, they may have caught Vibe Roxy in his jukes. Vex is just out of range to confirm where Thresh flashed, and then Tristana just doesn't do her due diligence. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, here comes challenger number two. Soraka pops the ult, but interestingly enough, that wasn't even for Akshan. It was for Cassid in mid. And you can tell because after Akshan pings Soraka in thanks and narrowly survives this gank, Soraka hits him with the question mark. Thank you so much for watching, that is going to do it for today's episode all on escapes. Remember to hit the like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you want to see some more content like this, and until next time, take care, stay safe, and have yourself a wonderful day.